Blood in the moonlight. The chupacabra's curse. The air hung heavy with the scent of pine and fear. The moon, a pale sliver in the vast, star-dusted sky, cast long, skeletal shadows across the dusty dirt road. I gripped the steering wheel tighter, my knuckles white against the worn leather. It was the third sheep this week, drained of blood, its body left mangled and hollowed out. They called it the Chupacabra, a creature of myth and legend, but the evidence was undeniable. My grandfather, gruff and weathered by time and the harshness of the Texas Plains, had scoffed at the idea. Just coyotes, boy, he'd said, his voice gruff as the wind whipping through the mesquite trees. But tonight, as I drove past his rundown ranch, I felt a chill crawl down my spine. The air felt electric, buzzing with a primal energy that sent goosebumps prickling my skin. I parked my truck a safe distance from the ramshackle barn, its faded paint peeling like sunburnt skin. The silence was broken only by the chirping of crickets, a symphony of unease in the stillness. The barn door creaked, a groan that echoed through the night, and I knew I had to see for myself. Cautiously, I stepped into the barn. Dust motes danced in the faint moonlight filtering through a crack in the wooden boards, illuminating a scene of horrifying carnage. The air was thick with the metallic tang of blood, a stench that made my stomach churn. Three sheep lay scattered across the hay-strewn floor, their bodies drained of life, their flesh torn and mangled. Their eyes stared vacantly upwards, devoid of any fear, as if they had met their end in a state of numb terror. My flashlight wavered, casting dancing shadows on the walls as I circled the gruesome scene. On the wall I saw it, a set of three claw marks, deep gouges that seemed to claw at the very fabric of the barn. They were unlike any animal I'd ever seen, too large, too powerful, too... alien. Suddenly, a guttural snarl ripped through the night, a sound that sent shivers down my spine. I spun around, my heart pounding against my ribs, but saw nothing in the darkness. Only the shadows danced, mocking my fear. I backed away, my legs heavy with dread. I had seen enough. The chupacabra was real and it was hunting. As I drove away, the moon seemed to mock me, its pale light illuminating the dusty road ahead. The silence was unbearable, broken only by the whirring of my truck engine. I knew I was not alone. The creature was out there, hidden in the shadows, watching, waiting. And when it returned, the next victim would be chosen. And I knew with a terrifying certainty that I would be next. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.